But let's now talk about how all of these cues really impact our own markets, everything that you should track ahead of the open today. We have our research team here, Nigel, Vivek and Surbi are all here to prep you up for this trading session. Guys, a very good morning to all of you. Uh, Vivek, coming to you first, today is very important in terms of domestic and global queue. So take us through everything we should track. Well, absolutely. And, you know, uh, the good part is we are starting off on a positive note, given the fact that overnight queues, both from U.S. as well as Europe, have been quite positive. Uh, you know, what's actually happened is that crude prices yesterday jumped to a 10-week high. And, you know, almost uh, Brent futures jumped almost 2.2%, uh, closer to the $79.4 the barrel mark. Now, coming to the Indian market, uh, you know, it's going to be important to see now, whether this particular rally can sustain. Last two trading sessions, it's been Reliance that's almost single-handedly lifting the Nifty and keeping, you know, market spirits higher. But, and yesterday, you know, ended at a fresh 52-week high, aiding the rally as far as the Nifty is concerned. However, you know, financials, past couple of trading sessions have been underperforming. And yesterday, you know, they saw an extended or further selling pressure in the last hour of the trading session and the Nifty Bank therefore underperformed. Uh, chemical stocks, you know, one particular pocket to continue to keep an eye out for. Yesterday, all of them underperformed and it'll be interesting to see whether, you know, the sell-off that started yesterday or over oh, the last couple of trading sessions continues. But a lot of important cues, like you rightly mentioned. Number one today, you know, we'd be watching out for both the CPI as well as the IIP data. Both of it would give important cues. A result season, you know, starts off in full swing. Both TCS as well as HCL Tech would be declaring the results. And today, you know, we will also see a lot of index-related flows coming in on account of the HDFC Limited HDFC Bank merger that comes into effect tomorrow. So watch out for, you know, a lot of action as far as the Nifty Sensex, Nifty Bank, as well as the Nifty Next 50 constituents are concerned. A lot of constituents would be impacted on the back of both weight rebalancing as well as fresh entries as well as exits. All right, Vivek, thanks a lot for laying out all of those cues for us. Let's also talk about the individual stocks. Of course, like Vivek mentioned, earnings season kicks off, so the entire IT pack will be in focus. But, Surbi, the big news came through on online gaming. That's correct. So the big news came through on online gaming. The GST Council has now levied a 28% tax on online gaming, casinos and horse racing. So Delta Corp and Nazara Technologies will be in focus. PVR Inox also will be in focus as the GST Council has agreed to reduce the GST on food and beverages at cinema halls at 5% from the previously 18%. Other than that, Happiest Minds will also be on our radar. The company launches a QIP at a floor price of 972 rupees per share. Sources said that the company is going to raise up to 500 crores via this QIP. Satpachintan Pharma, the board has approved a fundraise of up to 200 crores via various modes of uh, capital raise. Uh, Lupin is also on our radar. The company receives an establishment inspection report from US FDA for Pitambur Manufacturing Facility. And as you all mentioned, uh, the whole IT pack will also be in fo focus on the back of the results. And apart from that, we'll also be watching out for Anandrati Wealth. They will also be declaring the Q1 FIF24 results. Right, Surbhi, thanks a lot for that entire list of stocks. Finally, let me hand it over to Nigel. Uh, Nigel, uh, take us through how it's looking for the futures and options space. Well, yesterday, the weekly expiry period for the Nifty Financial Services Index, and that's the reason why we did see that sharp sell-off in the last 30, 35 minutes or so. Well, uh, that uh, graph that comes up for you is telling you the clear story. On the Nifty, we saw a bout of short covering that played out. The opening was down, but close to around a percent and a half. The FIs, well, they lightened their positions, both on the short as well as on the long side. But they continue to remain net lock on this index, with close to 72% of their positions on the long side. There were two strikes that were very, very active yesterday, the 19,500 call and the 19,400 uh, put out there. Just plugging in those numbers, you get the range. On the downside, the 19,360, that's the crucial support for the day. While on the upside, the 19,540, well, that'll be a bit of a resistance zone. Remember, the last five trading sessions, numerous times we've gone about that 19,500-odd mark, but we can't hold on to those levels and the recent highs come up for you on the screen. The gift nifty is suggesting that we start off in the green. Holding on to that green is going to be important. In fact, now it's uh, suggesting a more or less flattish start. So we have the range for the day. At the upper end, you'll want the nifty to hold about that 19,500 odd mark. And given that the IT index could really be more or less consolidation or maybe a bit of a downtick getting into those numbers, I'll be watching the nifty financial services index as well as the nifty banks. They had a down session yesterday. Can they bounce back today? All right, that is the key question. Let's see how that shapes up. Nigel, Vivek, as well as Surbhi, thank you very much for joining us with the trade setup. With that, we're going to get into our first break on the show. But when we come back, like we told you, the GST Council has decided to amend the laws and impose 28% uh, GST on full value of online gaming, horse racing and casinos. More on that in just a bit.